My mom told me not to talk to strangers on the internet, but I'm glad I didn't listen. We are the Certified Nunas, your sisters in the love of Asian entertainment. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Jesse. I'm Natalia. And I'm Sky. And a little while ago, we did a very fun episode, like last summer. We did a very fun episode where we called it the Drama Exchange, where we all picked a name out of a hat, and then we had to go recommend that person a drama that we thought they would like. And then they would watch some of the episodes of the drama and they would come back and say if they liked it. And then we would say why we picked that drama for them. We decided to do it again because we love it. And you know what? <laughs> I sense with this may be a regular uh, it probably episode, is. But yeah, episode yeah. type yeah. going forward. So it is very fun. Um, but we put a little bit of a twist on it. Whereas that Jesse is the only one who knows who got who and who <laughs> mm-hmm. the dramas mm-hmm. are. Um, so Jesse was the, the mastermind of the, yes. of sharing all Everybody these. got secrets and I know all. Yeah, so none of us know who got who, and none of us know who gave us their drama, except for Jesse. But in the future, we decided we're gonna enlist someone else to do it, so it's even we'll more outsourced. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna outsource Listen, it was beginning. the first time doing this, you know? It, it was also a last-minute twist we kind of, like... Yeah, like, literally, we decided <laughs> yeah. to do it, and then we were like, wait, wouldn't it be fun? <laughs> like, Jesse was busy picking names out of hats, and we were like, wait a second! <laughs> 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 but, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, each of us got a drama assigned to us, mm-hmm. and, uh, with the exception of Jesse, none of us know who it came from. And then we're gonna... <laughs> What if we? What it's about? If we liked it, and why we think it was chosen for us, and who would like to be the first victim to talk about their drama? Uh, so mine was Circle, K drama from 2017. As far as where it currently exists, it, it currently exists on Tubi, as well as if you have Roku, it's mm-hmm. also on the Roku channel. Oh, so either fun. way, you're getting ads. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And the same amount of ads. I, I tested. I played, <laughs> played one episode, episode on Tubi, <laughs> second episode on Roku channel. I was like, which one? It's like, same. Got it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. wanted, I wanted to try to be sneaky. No value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So um, I'll start off to say I really enjoyed it, which like I have been meaning. And this happened last time. I've been meaning to watch Circle yeah. for quite a while yeah. anyway. So whoever recommended it to me probably already knows that I've been meaning to get to it. Um, <laughs> because it is it is not time travel. So don't think it's time travel because it's no. not. Well, as of episode seven that I have watched, it is not time travel. <laughs> um, time travel. But... The characters do not. Yeah. Right. And, and I will not give any spoilers, so that will mean that my explanation of the show will be a little abbreviated compared to maybe some other shows that I would explain. Them, them's the things with sci-fi shows sometimes. Mm-hmm. You just gotta accept what you're getting. Um, so, what's neat about Circle is it's divided up into two parts each episode. And everyone, I think... All three of the ladies here have watched this on some level. So, mm-hmm. they, yeah. This is not it's new information to any of them. Dramas. It's a good one. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the first half of the episode is always kind of quote unquote, pre- I don't remember what the, I guess it's maybe 2017. Like it was present time, essentially like yeah. mm-hmm. you're, you're experiencing like present time. And the main characters are like college age or may, maybe like graduate college, but like, college Mm -hmm. and um so and i'll get into that in a second and then the second half of the episode is in the future in like 20 oh 2017 and 2037 so things have changed between (laughs) so pretty much every episode you're almost (laughs) experiencing a time jump of sorts Mm -hmm. maybe Mm -hmm. but like everything's so disconnected that like do these people Mm -hmm. have anything to do with each other maybe not maybe so like that's really and that's really the summary of it so in present time, there's these twin boys, college age kids. Uh, one of them's been in a mental hospital and in prison um, for kind of having an episode, essentially. And there's an alien involved. Again, I don't want to get too much. That is 
that is like the first scene. So I yeah. am not ruining yeah. the alien thing. That's, <laughs> no, that's it was you, heavily you, in the promo. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, everyone like, is pulling not about a surprise, that. Yeah. Like a twist. <laughs> an alien's surprise. there from the beginning. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, th- so I guess, I guess it, ac- the show actually doesn't start in 2017. It starts when they're kids. It does start when they're little. Oh, boys. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they... They're in the forest and they have a bike and one of them is like, I was looking for aliens. And then the other one's like, whatever, aliens don't exist. And then they see one. And so then it's like, well, you're wrong, evidently. Because then, then there's an alien. Like, um, So then it does time jump to like present day, 2017, which is when the drama mm-hmm. was made, released. And uh, then you kind of, and so you don't really see like why it's connected it's not immediately like, oh, aliens in college or something. It's not that obvious. It's very much like it only shows one of the twins kind of like struggling to, you know, get a research assistant position. But like in the meantime, there's suicides happening. Like I will say like trigger warning for like suicides and mm-hmm. I guess some level of body horror. And like there's there's some things that like it's not hugely graphic or anything, but like definitely the suicide thing is... A reoccurring it's not just episode one it, it kind of continues throughout so um the mysteries kind of start showing up mostly he's trying to figure out what's up with these suicides and then his brother is suddenly out of prison but then his brother's like keeping some stuff from him and the whole reason the whole episode that he had that got him into prison in the first place involved a stun gun and then he finds a stun gun in like his hidden little apartment thing. And it's like, oh no, he's up to his shenanigans. Did he kill these people? Mm-hmm. He lied to me about a lot of other stuff. Um, so it goes from there. So like every episode, you only get like 30-ish minutes of present day 2017 unraveling what happened with all these suicides, stuff like that. And also there's a chick that it's like, the brother who had all these episodes is like, she's the alien. Isn't she the alien? She's the alien. And the the other brother's like, no, she's not. Like, stop it. Please. Stop it. Stop it. You just Please. got out of prison. Please. Stop Please. it. Please. It's like, stop it. Don't do that. We can't, I can't do this again. <laughs> so then in 2037, yeah, 2037, mm-hmm. It's always pretty cool because each time they cut to the second part, 23-7, they usually, like, then pull up to through the clouds to, like, then show okay. smart. So you have normal Earth. I think they call it normal Earth. Normal or general Earth. I don't remember. And smart Earth. So smart Earth is kind of like this island in the ocean uh, where it sure looks clean and stuff and they have chips like so everyone that's on they look they look pretty privileged these people look moneyed i will say like all that there isn't any crime they don't really go into the moneyed aspect but that feels like an aspect of the people that are there um but the the chip that they have and i won't go into detail on it but what was it called smart care so essentially you're not going to get really upset about anything if you start getting upset it kind of kicks in and turns red and it'll kind of like calm you down and then it turns green and then it shuts off so like you're not going to have any extreme emotions essentially you can kind of be happy and that's pretty much it um so that's a thing and so as far as what it's kind of hard to explain like how they open on that it's like there's detectives on general earth who are doing some silly things and they make it super silly at the very beginning uh like, they tried to catch this hacker silly. guy, yeah. but, like, yeah. they staged a whole thing to catch him. Like, it's very, very silly. Uh, they got not much going on. They got to amuse themselves <laughs> somehow, you know. <laughs> and then I think what's kind of... What's interesting about this show is, like... So, in in the detectives... So you have a few of these detectives, and, of course, there's an older detective that kind of leads them all. And he is always wearing a trench coat, and he's all about, like, kind of... He's, I wouldn't say he's cocky, because he does not seem egotistical, but he seems very proud that he's a detective. It's very hard for me to explain the difference. He doesn't seem mean or grabby about glory, but he does seem like, oh, I'm really smart. I, I, 
I have a detective sense and I'm always correct. Like that type of thing, but not cocky about it. So like, he's a nice guy, but he's like, I'm like Sherlock. It's like, sure you are, buddy. Go, go make your web novel about Sherlock and just, it's okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're not a bad detective, but you're fine. Um, and that, like, so there's levity. Like, so despite 2037 General Earth being a dumpster fire of crumbling buildings and really bad dust that people have to wear masks for. Um, like, there's still levity with that guy. Like, mm-hmm. the way they opened onto it, it really didn't seem like as bad as... They, it wasn't like, oh no, the world is ending. It's like, the world is ending, but here's some funny people. So, um, and then it's like, oh, Smart Earth. Oh, no one's allowed to go to Smart Earth, but unless you're really invited. So essentially they get a phone call from Smart Earth. You never get a phone call from Smart Earth. And Smart Earth's kind of been a thing for like 15, 20 years at this point, it kind of seemed like. And uh, it was a girl, but she sounds like a young woman. She's a young woman voice saying that she Mm -hmm. has been kidnapped and they're after her again. Mm -hmm. They never get calls from Smart Earth. There's no crime on Smart Earth. Everyone has those chips. It should not be a thing. So it's not like it never happens that general earth people, detectives and police ever go to smart earth. They don't need to. This is not a thing. Uh, But they get this call and sure enough, they have to go up and see what's up, of course. But the smart earth people don't want them to do that. So then you have to meet the guy that's in charge of security. And then you meet all the everybody else, like the mayor and human B person and all this there's a lot of stuff and geek so, Kwong. <laughs> geek Kwong. Yeah. yeah the, the head of security <laughs> he's there doing stuff smiling yeah and he's that, so pleasant yeah that <laughs> his pleasantry completely ticks off like the young detective guy he's yeah. like i hate you <laughs> like stop <laughs> smiling <laughs> and then he's like what i'm so cute what um <laughs> Just I'm just wearing, I'm just service, wearing okay? an impeccable uniform and I'm smiling. He's like a concierge. He's yeah. just like yeah. doing his job and doing it well. Like, Come man. on. Like, but yeah. it's, it's, the thing is, like, if you're head of security, but there's never anything to be secure about, <laughs> I'm not sure right. you're doing that. Like, I mean, I guess you're doing a good. I guess you're doing a good job. I would maybe. be happy, like, yeah. just to like, show up at work and get paid. Nothing. Like, just, yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, you're Easy. vibing every day. Like, you're laughing every day. You know. So I will say the first few episodes of Smarter Stuff, it's not like all fun and games, but even kind of the bickering between Geekwang security Smart Earth guy and then the main young detective guy that's General Earth detective guy that's there. Their bickering's funny. One's wearing all white, one's wearing all black. Like It's a classic. It, it cracked me up. They're just really funny. Yeah. Um, but there would be serious moments of like trying to figure out what happened to this girl. Oh, and I will say, I mean, this is, come to find out, a murder happened, which, like, that's <gasps> really not supposed to occur. So, like, because, of course, they have a lot of security cameras, and they're able to, like, see through people's memories in order to know what happened and all these things. So, it's, it's like, oh, no, we just said we had 5,000 days of no crime. Like, that's been our main selling point of this Whoops. fancy, fancy place. <laughs> <laughs> we better cover this up, but that General Earth detective's gonna get in in the way of that. So there you indeed. be. He is indeed. And I really so like episode one, episode two, maybe even into episode three. And I won't say past that, but like, are they connected? Are they not? As far as the two mm-hmm. halves of this show, mm-hmm. like you're going these people doing this over here, and these people doing that over there. Do they have anything to do with each other? And so the fun is, are they connected? Are they not? And of course, what is going on with either one? Because it's mysteries on both sides. Like, and it's not just one thing. It's like multiple layers each time. Because in like 2017, it's what's up with these suicides? Like, why are they all Mm -hmm. happening kind of at the same university? And like, that's a thing. What's with this alien thing? What's with his brother? Did his brother do all this stuff? That would be really crummy. Um in 2037 it's oh no murder in paradise essentially Mm. and you better let this 
hardened normal guy normal detective come and like fix it because you guys don't know how to do much um so there's more mysteries to that but like i don't want to get into it mm-hmm. it's fun mm. it is for people who like sci-fi you do like i said you suicides are a thing they don't like show a ton a little uh so i mean it is on the mist it's on the mystery side of sci-fi mm-hmm. it is not mm-hmm. yay ufos all the time and yeah. <laughs> they as far as even the paradise smarter thing they don't they do show a little bit of that but that's not the point the point is mm-hmm. the shenanigans that are ensuing where they should not be ensuing mm. um but yeah i really really enjoyed it um I will guess as, I mean, as far as why whoever picked it for me, whoever it be, they probably knew it was on my list anyway. (laughs) We've talked about it before. Uh, I always talk about liking sci-fi shows. There's my Chewbacca. I'm wearing Chewbacca tonight. Um, So I'm to episode seven at this point, and I only started a few days ago. I'll, I'll probably plow through it here in a couple days. Like, I'm really, really enjoying it. I really enjoy the way it's telling the story. One thing I will say, and I don't think this is a drawback. I, for me, it's fun this way. But so if you compare this to like, and I haven't watched a huge list of like crime thrillers, but I've watched a few mm. K-drama crime thrillers specifically. And usually I'm a little too opaque to like pick up on any clues. It takes a lot for me to like really know too much ahead of time unless they're being pretty Uh obvious. It's kind of like in the rom-coms. I can maybe tell about the serial killer thing because they make it dreadfully (laughs) obvious in the (laughs) rom-coms. But you put me in the like crime thriller and they you make it pretty tough. Yeah, you ain't guessing mm-hmm. who the murderer is right away. I, I you could know? sit here and try yeah. all day, but unless they make <laughs> it dreadfully obvious, like in a mock jong or something, mm-hmm. I am not. Yeah. Like, Escape of the Seven, I can tell what's going on because they show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. point. The, uh, they show you. So, like, and I enjoy, I enjoy crime throwers that have no idea what's going on. I'm like, I'm just going to, you know. Yeah, go ahead and tell me, because I'm dumb. Like, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah? Yeah, But I will say, and I won't go into the details of what I figured out, but, like, I was able to follow very easily what is occurring, Mm -hmm. despite the fact that you're dealing with a lot of sci-fi elements. These are not things that happen in real life. Very fantastical things of various sorts. So, like... But I'm enjoying the fact that it's kind of easy pickings, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that the narrative being split in two, maybe that would be, Mm -hmm. like, discombobulating for some people. Like, didn't it come out when they were, like, doing the half an hour? Yeah. Yeah. So So this this was, like, intentionally there was a split of ads. Yeah. Yeah. The first half would always be the first half an hour, then they would have a commercial break, and then the second half an hour. Yeah, like so they actually used pretty cool. it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm killing Natalia. That is the funniest <laughs> shit you've ever done to me. <laughs> but it, it was literally the only show that was airing during that brief time where they did that, that it actually, like, yeah. was a jar. Yeah. To, Experience. It really worked out yeah. a lot yeah. for that they, show. They used it, and it was great. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I would think it would be a bummer if they, if it was like one hour episode of just one setting. Yeah, and then the next episode, yeah. one yeah. hour episode of the other one, you'd still follow it. it it's fine. I, I'm enjoying like, the way it's split like, up. I think it's interesting. Of it, and then like you only get a couple of minutes, and it's at the end. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I will say. Like, if someone chooses to binge this, I'm enjoying binging it. I think it would have been a very... And I think about this often. The way shows can be so different based on, like, the mode that you're consuming them in. And it can be, like, this one being written a certain way because of the way... Or filmed a certain way and presented a certain way because of Mm -hmm. the way the 30-minute thing was occurring, evidently. But, uh... It really, like, changes your experience of the show. So, like, I'm enjoying binging it, but I will say... The drawback is 
less suspense, but they do a lot. They have to do recaps at the beginning of mm. maybe every episode, really. Yeah. It's not bad, but kind of, if you're really kind of going through it, it's like, okay. Like, I, I yeah, saw I that. It. I get 30 it. 30 minutes ago. I'm, I'm okay. aware. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very helpful if you were only if it was a week since you last saw the episode. That's true. Yeah, less helpful. <laughs> when right, it first like, came out, I was like, "Okay, I want to go back and rewatch it and just watch all the firsts oh, and then all the cool. seconds, right? And like see if it tells me a different story. Like if there's Easter eggs there yeah. that I yeah. missed because we were splitting them up and stuff. But it was on Drama Fever, and so then it was gone. So yeah. <laughs> I well, remember it because you know. I remember the promos for it because yeah. you know, Drama Fever had like promos in between yeah. and like on the waiting like you know when you're like just like pause on something it'll show up like a little clip yeah. and yeah. stuff that yeah, was always <sighs> like playing non-stop <laughs> oh, Drama Fever <laughs> Rip. you know what there, there's, there might be people who listen to us who who had never experienced never. Drama Fever yep. they don't oh, know like, for sure. they don't know yeah. the heartbreak that happened you're yeah. lucky, my friend. Just imagine that your favorite streaming platform up and poofs one day. Just literally, days. like, you were literally watching poops. a show, you go to you bed. You're halfway through multiple shows. Multiple, <laughs> you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, and all there is is a black screen saying, we shut down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so this, so Circle, like, it came out, like, the year before I started getting into dramas and stuff. Mm. So, like, that that's why I never got mm-hmm. into it then yeah. and then i was trying to play catch up and even the drama fever experience so like it was pretty heartrending for me but i was still so new to dramas mm-hmm. you're even if you're as far as what i did i can't say what anybody else did when they're brand new as a brand new drama watcher I, yeah i was tearing through dramas but i was only maybe concurrently watching maybe two mm-hmm. like i wasn't stacking a ton on top of each mm-hmm. other because yeah. i was binging so yeah. much so Though it was heartbreaking, it's not like I was in the middle of five shows or something. Yeah, you know, right. or I yeah. didn't have a ginormously long wish wish list of what I intended to yeah. watch and stuff. But uh, yeah. yeah, so I really recommend Circle. Um, I think even having commercial breaks, like so, like since I'm watching them on ad, ad services. It's kind of nice because it makes you sit there and like think about what just happened. Like as far as okay, I get like a minute and a half to like process what you watched. And like I said, I I appreciate the level of detective work that they are expecting from the viewer. It's just enough for me. It's I get to feel slightly smart. I I, I wish there were levels of like this is for slightly smart. <laughs> but then if you graduate to like normal crime thriller good luck to you like you're probably not going to really <laughs> why are you laughing so much just the way you said that was so charming you're like i like slightly smart i like feeling a little smart like oh guy <laughs> well it's it's like oh i guess that or oh of course you know like so yeah. kind of yeah. your prediction can come true because they did they laid out the breadcrumb they they gave at least two little breadcrumbs it's like, oh, thank you, show you, you helped me, you helped me attain this, as opposed to like, <laughs> oh, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> surprise to me. Okay, um, but I also like, as far as since it is it's set in twenty thirty seven, and even though it has fantastical elements and sci fi elements, it's really not so far in the future that it's like, oh, how on earth could this happen? Yeah, like mm-hmm. it, it's mm-hmm. all pretty. It's like, okay, I can imagine similar kind of occurring even if it's fantastical on some level yeah but uh yeah and there's there's some funny bits but but not like i mean there was slapstick right at the very beginning mm. of yeah, the that's first episode the first introduction to the cops I, I, they're I, slapstick I, i'm sure i'm sure jesse was like oh i no. was very worried <laughs> yeah. uh, like and there was a moment because i was watching it like because we were Natalia and I were gonna do something. You know, but one I was day, like, one day, one day we'll do it. Um, but uh, I was watching. I was like, oh no, I don't know how to break 
<laughs> like yeah. Natalia's but heart. But like, as this. the show goes on, there's <laughs> less and less and it, less and less. Yeah, it like literally <laughs> forgets that it did that. In the they were just beginning. having a little fun in the first episode, you know. <laughs> yeah, Asian, yeah. <laughs> it, it was about to be a good example of crappy cops, which yeah. we all know Jesse yes. is not a fan of crappy cops. Yes. Um, especially played for laughs, like not just yes. this thing. <laughs> So circle, I I say like if you're into that type of thing, it, but like I said, it's not just like ooh pristine sci-fi stuff. It, it there there's it's mystery and it is a little mm-hmm. bit of thriller and stuff. So mm-hmm. you have to be okay with crimey things happening. Crime. And um, I I didn't notice as as far as aside from like I said the content warning of kind of suicide type stuff and mm-hmm. some body horror type stuff, um, and just typical violency things which aren't. It wasn't gruesome or like yeah. huge, but it's it's mm-hmm. an aspect of, you know, chasing people and having a fight or whatever, yeah. like that type of stuff. But uh I don't think there was anything else that really was content warning wise, I guess. Uh I don't think so. Like said, not ju- not just the fact suicides, but like suicidal ad- ideation a little yeah. bit too, I suppose, mm-hmm. as far as like depression and things thereof. So mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. PTSD a little bit, things like that. Um and the aliens, as far as up to episode seven, you know, nothing's really all that bizarre. It's pretty yeah. cut and dry. So, I recommend it. Thank you to whoever. I have zero, like, I really don't have a guess because <laughs> could be any of us. you all, you all have you. watched it and we've all talked about Circle enough. Like, I don't. It could have been any one of us. Who knows? Yeah, Who like. Knows? I know. I don't I get do me know. yet. <laughs> Jesse <Just, laughs> knows. But that? when I got it, when I got it, it was immediately like, yep, oh, that's, <laughs> yep. of course, of course I got recommended Circle. This was not a surprise that I got recommended Circle. I was like, thank you. Like, that's, might as well. In fact, I haven't even made, like, I'm I'm going to do a 12 for 12 for this year. I don't know mm-hmm. if I'm going to fill it in as I go, possibly. Yeah. I saw some people do that last year for us when they were doing theirs. Um, as opposed to what I did last year was like, I picked things and then I just edited the didn't. whole Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. Make life easier, um, you know? But anyway, this is one that's like, I could go, you know, there's my 2017 yeah. one. It's going to be go. done. Here you boom, go. Boom, Perfect. Boom. All right, who's next? So who's oh. next? I can go. Oh, um, Amanda. Amanda. Hit us. So since I'm in my anime era, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. somebody has uh, recommended to me Yuri on Ice. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, <laughs> Yuri on Ice is about figure skating and men falling in love. Yes. Uh, my daughter walked in the other day. She says, are you watching Yuri on Ice? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, so... Is the gay canon, or is it just something people like to you know? That's a decent <laughs> question. It is a decent I question, just, because, you know, yes. the, the exactly anime fans, right. you know. Mm-hmm. So, I would say it is canon, but it's also not, like, super obvious. Like, I mean, it is... It is. The yeah. animator loves butts, let me tell you. The animator <laughs> loves animator loves butts. the human form, okay? Very much so. Um, I mean, like, figure skating is perfect for that, you yeah, know? It really True. is. So I would say the best part of this, I've completed it, I watched the whole thing. Is um, the butts? Is that is that what you're looking for? No, the yes. butts? That yes, that's what, that's what she's <laughs> saying. Uh-oh, it's Amanda's an ass huh? woman. We have to <laughs> So, no, I I would say the figure skating, like, is very Gorgeous. beautiful to watch. It's very well animated, and it just, it looks real. Like, it mm-hmm. almost at times looks like, you know when you watch that animation where what they've done is animated actual figures? Like they've, you Rotoscoping. know, yeah. It almost looks like that sometimes. Like, it just is, it's it so flows, good. and the way um. it's done is really beautiful. Um, if you're into figure skating, you'll enjoy some of the aspects of it. Like there's a lot of the competitions and stuff. And, and every time there's a competition, you hear the thoughts of the person who's competing. So you see why they miss a jump or why they, because you see where their brain is spiraling out into something else and 
they're not staying focused and stuff. So that's a really neat aspect of it. Um, obviously, I mean, it's about Yuri. He is a 23 year old figure skater who just massively bombed at like the Grand Prix, which is the big muckety muck of, you know, figure skating competitions. He's very, very embarrassed. He's like, I'm never figure skating again because I was so bad. Um, goes back home to Japan and his family owns like a bathhouse and he goes back home to just cry in his Cheerios and eat and <laughs> whatever. His best friend owns, well, one of his best friends works at or, you know, runs the uh the big ice skating rink so he's still going and and skating there um and he decides that like he has always loved and looked up to this figure skater named victor russian figure skater who is just at the absolute top of his game like he has won the grand prix like six years in a row or something like he is all that the creme de la creme, oh, like victor so yuri um decides to just for whatever reason in his heart of hearts he emulates victor and he he skates one of victor's routines and his bestie who runs the uh, the ice rink has triplets and they are precocious little triplets mm. and they record him on mom's phone and then upload it to youtube and so <laughs> so they must uh, not be five years old they must be like teenagers yeah they're not old they're very little and mom yells at them a lot for like, so you're not supposed to get into my phone and you know yeah that's funny um so victor is laying at home with his little puppy and he sees it and he goes, hmm, I'm going to quit being a figure skater and go be this guy's coach. Cause I see something in him that is, you know, great. And mm -hmm. I'm going to foster that. So he, uh, just shows up in Japan one day <laughs> with this dog at, at the bathhouse. <laughs> the dog. I love the dog. And Yuri, like, loses his mind because why are you here in my house, in my naked in my bath, like, house? This is <laughs> too much for my brain to process. So it's very good. There's a second character named Yuri, a Russian Yuri. So there's the Japanese Yuri and the Russian Yuri. And Russian Yuri is very pissed off because, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, Victor promised him that if he made it into the seniors, he would choreograph a routine for him. But then he took off to Japan. So <laughs> Russian Yuri's mad because you made me a promise. So that's sort of the first few episodes is them all in Japan, mm -hmm. hanging out and figure skating and stuff. And it's, it's, it's good. It's yeah. very enjoyable. The, um, the different characters are fun to watch. The, the interactions between them, like Russian Yuri in Japan, they start calling him Yurio because they're like, well, we can't, we can't call you both Yuri. It's too complicated. So we're going to call you Yuri. <laughs> He's like, but my name is Yuri. And they're like, not anymore. Not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> And he's also like young, like he's only like very young. He's like, he's in, like his teens. Yeah, he's in like his teens. Mm -hmm. oh. And so like everyone's his... like, "Oh, kid!" And he's so like, that's why his feelers were so broken. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And he's very, he's very angry. He's a very yeah, he's an angry, angry little ball dude. of angry. angriness. He's an angry um, little dude. Angry. So, yeah. <laughs> How many episodes uh, is it? Ten. Twelve. Ten. Oh. Not enough. The answer is it's not enough. Not enough. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It so, should be more. <laughs> yeah, I was very surprised because for the the hold that Yuri on Ice has on people, I expected it to hold. have multiple seasons. No, or, that's why you know, the whole is there. episodes. <laughs> yeah. No, the yearning. That's, that's it's why. Yearning. And as, I just want to say, as soon as it ended, they're like, don't worry, we're making a movie. Uh, <laughs> 
the, I mean, the final is the movie of the room with like, us right now. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> exactly. Like, but, oh, yeah. The I movie think the final, was the friends we made along the way. You know, like, the final episode, <laughs> the final like title card kind of thing was like a. Don't worry, we'll be back, or Yuri will be back. No. Yuri ain't been back <laughs> since. <you know? laughs> We've been bamboozled. <laughs> So, yeah, so, I mean, this obviously has, uh, all, it has definitely been on my list of things to watch for a long time, so now that I'm, you know, able to watch anime easily, it mm-hmm. was a good time for me to hop on that bandwagon and watch it. get it done, so, uh, I, it's sports, it's gay it's cute it's short like shortish episodes and a short you know so mm-hmm. for me right now where i'm at that's perfect so if i had to guess all of the above those are the reasons why somebody <laughs> <had> this for <laughs> me um probably similar to sky getting picked circle like Probably everybody here could on. guess that there's <laughs> something I would want to watch, like, or that I'm planning to watch. So, here you go. Uh, yeah. I will say, in the middle, I felt like it slogged a little bit because it was, it was just competition after competition mm-hmm. after competition. So, it was just all figure skating it was you know like two hours of figure skating and you were like mm. okay can we have some conversations though too like i want to go back to when they were especially like, if you're binging it i can see that know, being that. more of a yeah. thing so it, it felt like a lot at one point and then it you know and then you get sort of over that hump and then there is more eating together and teasing and joking and conversation mm-hmm. and doing mm-hmm. stuff and and i liked that I wish there was a little bit more balance of that throughout instead of sort of bookending a lot of, there was a lot in the middle of just figure skating, but it's very beautiful figure skating to watch. So, you know, mm-hmm. it wasn't, it's not like it was bad. I wasn't like, Oh no, not God, this more again. beautifully <laughs> animated <laughs> figure <laughs> skating. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> more, I think oh. It's more of the best animation I've bad. ever seen in my life. Right? <laughs> Oh, more God. butts. <laughs> well, but they were clothed at that point, but they, they were. Oh, really clothed. they so, have non-clothed. Oh, they butts? have non-clothed. I didn't understand that was house. a part of what we were talking about. Yeah. 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 Literally, uh, the okay. first time. The, little spoiler for the first episode. The first time <laughs> Yuri meets like Victor. Victor stands up from the bath, and it's shot oh. from behind. So all you see is his yeah. butt, and then Yuri's face, like in the, like the butt in the foreground. Yuri's face. R.I.P. <laughs> Yuri. And he's like, and he's like, I'm gonna be your coach, and Yuri's like, no. Oh. <laughs> and it's so much like so much gay panic from Yuri. Like it's unbelievable because it's very um like his bedroom is basically a shrine to victor and then victor is like so to get to know each other better we need to sleep together and he's like we what and he's like i'm gonna sleep in your room so we can be friends and he's like in my room crap you know yanking posters down off the wall like this is not ah." so yeah there's a little bit it's a little bit less obvious and sort of takes a little bit longer with Victor's character. Mm-hmm. He's he's just sort of gregarious. Yeah, like he just yeah. loves everybody and he's just a super nice guy. He just he just really does. Like he likes everybody and he encourages everybody and he he sees these young skaters and he's like you're going to be great someday or he'll mm-hmm. see somebody else who's, you know, he's on the podium all the time and he always gets the gold and you always get the silver, but Oh, maybe next time, next time you'll get me. I know you will. Like, and they're like, take it. I want to be mad at you, but like, but you don't, you're just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Damn. Like, you're so, so genial and encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dag nabbit. Yeah. And you want to know something fun? Do you know who sings the theme song to Yuri on Ice? I do. Dean Fujioka, friend, oh, friend of the show, friend of the yes. Fujioka. Why are we talking about that? You will see you'll it the 
future friends. Future, perhaps. Future. <laughs> uh, it, there is very good music. Like there's mm. really, really excellent music. Mm. Like some songs, mm-hmm. there's sort of themes that play throughout, and then just the music that gets chosen for the different figure skating routines and stuff. It's it's excellent. Like it's very well crafted as a, a show anime or otherwise like it's just extremely well crafted start to finish it it does all the things it fills all the details and it just it's very good it's very and did it scratch your sports itch yes very much so it 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 definitely got the job done that way it was sports enough mm. um without being it wasn't only sports. There was relational stuff that goes on, which mm-hmm. for me, that's why I like a sports movie or a sports drama is because it's not just sports. I would just mm. watch sports if it was, if that's what I wanted to watch, right? So right. I think it does have a good balance of people and relationships and the the heart and what goes on with people who are athletes and you know, the struggles that they have. So two thumbs up. Cool. Mm -hmm. Whoever Mm -hmm. may have picked it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whoever. All right, Jesse, it's yours and me. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll go because you're, you're you're the game master. (laughs) True. Okay. Yeah. So, um, initially the first drama that was picked for me was one that I had already seen. So we had to pick, this is the second Mm. Um, it's a little mix up I think I was somewhere mm. like missed it on my watch list but that's fine because my watch list is very long it's easy to, <laughs> to miss, scroll a lot miss things up. there's a <laughs> lot of scrolling but it was they picked a 2021 web drama called scripting your destiny and boy was this the perfect pick for old Natalia someone <laughs> someone knows what what she likes Um, so basically the plot is, is that you're following this, like, god of destiny, and there's all these various dudes who just write people's destinies, they're just hanging out in Seoul, opening the book of your life, and writing everything that happens to you, and some of them get more detailed, some of them leave a little bit more up, like, they're a little lazier with their job, um, and so you're following this one guy, and he's trying to get this, like, this wannabe director, He's like, I am going to, like, get you, like, I'm going to make you the best director in, like, ever. That's going to be your fate, right? That's what I've decided. And one way I'm going to do this is I'm going to help you out by getting your first love back in your life so you can have, like, the love of your life back. Unfortunately, he understands nothing about romance. So he's like, this is fine. I can start, like, riffing off of things that I've read and seen because who's going to know romance besides like soap opera writers. And so he basically starts riffing off of like, you know, these ridiculous, like cliched setups. And the girl who's this director's first love is very secretly She's, she, she doesn't, the only person who knows in her life is her mom, um, is a, so is a, the premier soap opera writer who is writing the top ridiculous soap opera. And when you're asking yourself, do they show scenes from the soap opera she's writing and how ridiculous it is? You bet your butt they do. And it is (laughs) chef's kiss. Like, it's so good. Um, so then he starts using her writing, like her like writings for back in the day to 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 like plan this romantic <laughs> like like rendezvous between her and this director guy. And meanwhile, he's also like pretending to be her landlord too, because all of these gods have to like have a reason to exist in the world rather than just being <laughs> suspicious dudes hanging out all over the place. So he's like he owns the building that they that her mom's cafe is in. Um, but every setup he does where he's going through like, oh yeah, like I'm I'm putting it, like she wrote this story when she was a teen about first love. I'm going to give her exactly like the first love, like, you know, like meeting on the bus in the rain, like doing all this. <laughs> but none of it's working 
because she had she's like not falling for this guy and he's like what am i doing wrong and so he then has to like ingratiate himself into her life to try to like you know get the romance happening but uh uh-oh uh oh. Romance might be happening in the wrong way. <laughs> and guess what's forbidden for gods of destiny to do? Have a little romance. Um, this show was so fun. It was not very long. It was only 10 episodes, and they were half an hour episodes. So it was like, I watched it in like three days. Um, and I was loving it. Like, it stars um, Kido Hoon, who was the second male lead in um, Jinxed at first, and he was so delightful in that. Um, and so I was like, oh, this guy. And it also had, like, they're, they're people that, like, you know their faces, mm-hmm. but, like, mm-hmm. they're not, like, the super big names. Um, and so you're like, that guy's in this? Like, oh, that's that's so fun. Um and it's just a delightful little show. The the the, the female lead, uh, Jun So Ni, is so sassy and so sarcastic and just like so not caring about their shit at all. <laughs> like she's just like, I just want to write my stupid soap opera. But like she's constantly like the mom's like, no, you have to be nice to the landlord because I don't want the landlord to like raise her rent or like gets out of the building because like we both live in the building and run a cafe and she's like don't tell the landlord the cafe is doing well because then they'll kick us out and start their own cafe and so like there's like the mom element but the mom's also always like oh you single like this rich handsome young man like my daughter's (laughs) single meanwhile the daughter wears nothing but like sweatpants and never (laughs) brushes her hair and is just like mom what are we what are we doing here um it is super fun it is very just exactly what you would expect it to be from the synopsis that was you know of the show and it's it's very much like a supernatural rom-com it had a of course it had a bunch of like you know goblin pastiches like with the walking through the tunnel with like him and the other (laughs) god right of course uh because like you you can't you You can't not like but also it would have like him like there's like two main gods of destiny that hang out together but then it would also have like just her like like angrily down the tunnel but it would be like the same (laughs) it was it was very fun um it's it's really cute drama it's on vicky so it's like easy to watch uh i think it's also on ichi maybe in some places um yeah it was perfect and if i were to guess why someone picked it for me um it was because this is the shit that i eat for breakfast right this is like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like just goofy supernatural shenaniganery big fan big fan of that um i don't know what else to say about it it was super fun uh i liked it a lot more than i thought i would but like d- not really okay here's the thing i knew i was i knew i was gonna like it when i read the synopsis i was like oh perfect. oh i get it yeah, perfect yeah. like yes this is exactly what i've been looking for in my life thank you mm. um and it's just it's such a quick little watch that it's uh it's very uncomplicated like it's it's very you know like oh no like he can't fall in love or like he gets like taken out of existence for a while and brought back with no memories like it's like you know like it's it's exactly (laughs) what you want in this drama but um also i kind of want to watch the soap operas that she was writing because they look unhinged as a side um i just have to talk about this one soap opera because it was (laughs) like it also, they, they would have scenes, right, from the soap opera, and it starred, um, the soap opera starred an actor, uh, Lee Shi Kang, who you would know from, he was in a Taiwanese BL that was, like, half Korean and half Taiwanese, um, playing a Korean guy, um, what was it called? Because of You, I think it was called? Um, yeah, Because of You. And then he was also in, um like a soap opera like anyway 
but he plays like his character is uh like the husband of this woman who dies and he's left with her vast like he inherits her vast fortune but all of these men start to get like plastic surgery to look exactly like him to come to like her family and be like I'm really the husband and the scene is like him with himself to be like yes this man may have gotten plastic surgery to look exactly like me but you can't plastic surgery these abs and like (laughs) and then like the father-in-law like collapses on the ground and is like hugging his abs like son-in-law it is you the show is very fun it also has like a random cameo from jang we right at the end which uh you'll know him from uh such bl classics as uh nobleman ryu's wedding and uh where your eyes linger you know the classic that fella um very soap opera-y but not in a soap opera cameo. It's so fun. Like, I really, if I if you like this sort of drama, I recommend watching it because it really didn't take much time at all to watch. Uh, you could watch it in a day if you had a really long afternoon free. <laughs> <laughs> it, would only take, it would only take you five hours to watch. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I definitely know why it was picked for me and literally any one of y'all could have picked it because y'all y'all know me you know my taste i like everything but some things i like a little bit more just a, just a little bit more so yeah it was super mm-hmm. fun big fan big fan of scripting your destiny check it out nice okay it's the game Final. master's turn. The game master. Who knows <laughs> all? Oh, no. What was, cho- what was chosen for Jesse? Have you figured out who picked what? Like, I'm. I kind of feel like maybe you can figure out. Like, like the audience can figure mm. out maybe mm. potentially who figured out. But I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Um. Uh. So my drama that was picked for me is surprise, surprise, a crime thriller. <laughs> it is uh, a K drama. Sky, I'm never gonna forget this little <laughs> incredible. incredible. That will be like one clip that you take <laughs> and just use everywhere. It's gonna be a gif. I'm gonna make it a gif yeah, of Sky going. Oh, no. <laughs> Sky will be immortalized forever in this gif. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> And um, this is so why you I, should be watching our videos on YouTube, friends. Very true. <laughs> You're not getting this. this you have audio. no idea what Sky did that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was given the 2013 crime thriller um, Cruel City, which it, most people know as Heartless City because that's how it is on Vicky. And Vicky is the place to watch it and has been the place to watch it for forever Forever, so i think most people find it as heartless city but mdl lists it as cruel city so just play little games with us you know know, because they're trying yeah they're they're just like you know making you work for your search i guess is really what it is they're like we really want to make this a game for you um so (laughs) I did not end up watching this full drama. It's like 20 episodes long. So oh like, yeah. I i wasn't going to, but I did watch the first four episodes and mm-hmm. I really enjoyed the first four episodes. So I will be continuing with this drama. So don't worry about that. Um, essentially what it is about is about drug cartels and essentially mobs and um, police corruption and detectives who are also kind of uncovering the like layers of what's going down between the two organizations. So this is very much heavily focused on like police and that kind of like political police area and like, you know, like designated crime. Um, So like, if that's not your thing, that's definitely (laughs) not going to be this show for you. Um, but it's like very gritty, like the way that it like is stylized. It's very dark and heavy. It um, is not comedic at all. There's 
a lot of death that happens in the first couple of episodes torture the people are wanting to rise to the tops of their uh, respective organizations so there's a lot of that that's in play um it is star starring uh jung kyung ho which is probably the reason why this specific drama was chosen for me uh because if you know i just watched missing nine with him in it so <laughs> we, maybe a redemption drama or something like that. Say, redemption arc who knows <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, um if i am to believe like the first review uh that is posted on mdl this was his first drama post military mm -hmm. uh so mm -hmm. uh, apparently it worked out really well because a lot of people love this drama um there's not much i can tell you about it especially in the first four episodes and it does have a lot of things that happen um i don't know if like i guess does it say it it like it it mentions it in the first maybe it will kind of go over it mm -hmm. Because it is, it, it, a big thing happens in the first four episodes, and it is what it is definitely the catalyst for the rest of the series. You can very much tell that it's the catalyst for the rest of the series. So as a potential spoiler alert for this 2013 drama, <laughs> the crime thriller um, drama from, from the first four. Over 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I promise you, I cannot spoil past the fourth episode. So if I like, do, I'm doing it unintentionally. Um but essentially, uh, what happens is you see that uh, Jung Kyung Ho's character, he's like part of the drug cartel. He isn't like one of the main bosses. And he is he gets word that like they're trying to like overtake him and take him out completely. Um, and he as he's trying to like evade people from killing him, um, he has his best friend who is kind of like helping him out. And they end up the people end up like still targeting uh King Ho's character and he gets into a car accident while simultaneously they are attacking his friend and the friend's girlfriend and he ends up going and rescuing the friend and leaving the girlfriend to die when he's getting this friend um so there's a lot of like stuff that kind of like happens in between and like one of the other kind of storylines you see is uh, this uh, these two detectives who are uh, in a relationship um, and the one is a female detective and she has a younger sister who she's trying to like get her to like do more with her life and that sort of thing. Um, but she's very like passionate about being a detective. And so she decides hey, I'm going to help out the police with like all the investigations they're doing with the drug cartel. I'll just become an undercover cop in this whole thing. And um, if you know anything about anything that happens when like the like female detective who is the romantic interest for the like main <laughs> male detective um, goes undercover, it means she dies. <laughs> and that's what She's happens. not long for this <laughs> world. <laughs> in the but, synopsis on mdl so it's not much but, of a spoiler like yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other main thing is that she's not just the relationship of the, the the detective she had a past relationship with kyung ho's character like in the past yeah. and very like it was like love that got away and so they both are there at the moment that she passes Ooh. so like the this is the catalyst that like really is going to explode into the next uh like rest of the series um if you are into kind of organized crime and really dark like heavy um crime thrillers this is going to be your show um if you are into kind of like more of like serial killer like puzzle piece esque mm -hmm. it's less about that because it's a lot more action based and there's a lot of like moving players in this because like the both like you have like the main detectives who are working on the cases and then you have the police and the chiefs who are part of like the corruption. And then you also have like the drug cartel and the, like just the levels of like the mobs and like the outer cores of like the units of, I don't know what, what's the terminology for drug cartels and their different sections. I don't know. Um, but like, you know, there's a bunch <laughs> of branches in there. Cartel, so I don't know yeah. either. Like, uh... <laughs> 
time. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Branches and range. <laughs> I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I don't know your terminology. My bad. We're not really up and Sorry to offend. And I'm trying my best, you know. Um, but it has a lot of like moving pieces because of that. And there's a lot of things like happening. And this, like, the first four episodes really do kind of like dive into the storyline pretty heavily even though that like this main like thing that like is really going to be the biggest thing about the detective dying is the greatest part of it the, like all the other pieces were really big and really like impactful and it like i mean it starts like like kind of like from the first second you let you start the episode it's like you're in that and it's got kind of like a noir like feeling to it as well mm. like so it's got that kind of like mm-hmm. darkness but not not necessarily everything being dark i mean a lot of it's you know during the nighttime but like <laughs> physically and you know. emotionally dark you know? yeah <laughs> yeah um so i am enjoying it um it's not something that i'm like wanting to binge but i found that i'm like I don't find a lot of dramas where I'm in the in-between mm. where like, I feel like I always like either binge something completely or binge something a lot, leave it be again and then binge it a lot. I'm not, I'm like rarely in that like middle where I watch a couple of episodes and then stop and then watch a couple episodes and stop. And I think this drama is like going to be perfect for that. Mm. Yes. And I've been wanting to find a drama like that, that like, it's just kind of like the, Oh yeah, I want to like pick up a couple of episodes here and there. Um, there's also like um, the little sister of the detective who passes away is played uh, by Nam Yuri, um, and she is going to be very much a heavy hitter in this like whole entire thing as well because she has some insides uh, that like you know are gonna like help her in like going on forward because she's very much. Um, she's been like really good friends with a lot of like kind of like the brothel houses and that sort of thing. And she like hangs out with a lot of those people. Like, so she has like actual friend ties in this like places where like, clearly she's going to be like now going, dedicating her life to find out who killed her older sister. Cause she likes her older sister. Um, and she had just gotten accepted to the police Academy as well. Oh. Um, when the, death happened Mm -hmm. so that's like a huge thing um so she's going to be around um it is it's bland with a lot of people in in this show (laughs) um the main detective is ej yoon um who you know he's been in a bunch of stuff um like i always see him around weightlifting fairy he's the the big brother um, the police guy in Alice, if you watch Alice, another oh, hey, uh, um. he, he does like a lot of like mm-hmm. prosecutor, you know, like some he's guest got, stuff. He's got real he's cop got, face. Real yeah, cop and, he, guys. and it's, he's like, got like an interesting face where you like, you know who he is once you see him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's also kind of a, like, got like that, like golden retriever type like face. You're like, yeah. you're the like yeah. big scary guy. Who's actually like the sweetest, like mm-hmm. Moppin who will help everyone he, out. And he does action a lot because he does actually do martial arts like he's a competitive yeah. Yeah, boxer Brazilian and jiu-jitsu. stuff you know yeah, yeah. yeah. he's also so. canadian yes. <laughs> i used to follow him on ig yeah. and he'd always have pictures of like you'd know when he was home because it was like suddenly all these pictures were of like toronto, toronto. and you were like <laughs> <laughs> okay i guess yeah. you're home and and the kyung ho's like his like best friend slash person who also is in whatever section they are in the drug cartel or whatever is Yoon Hyunmin who you know from like my hollow love and a bunch of other things so like and like everybody I mean like everybody you see you know like all the major people in the drug cartel is like are like major people you're like oh that guy oh that guy oh yeah you're gonna be that guy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so it's it's definitely like if you're into action as well, I think you're gonna really like this drama if you decide to pick it up. Um, and it's well received on my drama list. I've heard a lot about it before I even had picked this up. Um, it just hasn't had been something that like I had picked up. So I'm I'm like glad that like this was like the force to watch it. 
Um, especially because I do like watching older dramas that like I just never got around to. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about it. All right, who gave Sky your drama? <laughs> all right, who did it? Who, who did it? Fess yeah. up, fess up. up. Yep, yeah. fess up. It was me. <laughs> yeah. Amanda. I had like two picked out and I was like, ooh, either one of these I could go. And one was like a, a really cute rom-com. And then there was like Circle. Circle. We're going to go with Circle. Partially because it was finally available again. It's been unavailable yeah. for a very mm. long time. So yeah. I was like, okay, it's here. And who knows for how long. Oh, yeah, so get, it, get it while you get it. Make sure she yeah. watches yeah. it while she can. So and I was... think that's kind of been that's kind of been a barrier for why I haven't like made time to watch yeah. it. Because mm-hmm. I I knew it'd be something that I'd want to talk about, but I don't love spending a ton of podcast time talking about things that like people you know, can't like recommend yeah. people yeah. to yeah. find it where you they should can't go find, find it. This. So... <laughs> So that was kind of my, I I mean, all the reasons that you said, you know, we you know, we all know you love sci-fi and, you know, and it's such a tight story. Like, it's such an interesting mm-hmm. storytelling method. And I don't know anybody who watched it who didn't enjoy it, mm-hmm. right? Like, it, it just, it's a good story. So, and yeah, basically just, it was, it was available. So now was the time. <laughs> and I knew you would want to watch it. I knew you wanted to watch it. So it was sort of, I think it's good to kind of get that little, like, push. Like, okay, yeah. now mm-hmm. you have to. So <laughs> put it on the list, right? So. Yeah. What I sort of love about what happened is for any of these, any one of us could have recommended any of these. <laughs> yeah. to each other. And <laughs> like, this wasn't like an obvious, like, oh, this person was definitely recommended. Well, like, that was- anyone could have done it. <laughs> That was part of it too. Was that because we were keeping it secret? The I other one, like, the, oh. the rom com that I was gonna pick, I was like, I feel like I'm the only one who watched that one, and I've talked about it before. So like, she'll mm. know it was me because mm. it'll just be more obvious. Yeah, I mean, so I'll go with the one that could be any of us because you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. keep the mystery alive. Hmm. All right, who was the recommender of Yuri on Ice for old Amanda? It was me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse! Yes. We all pause, like, we were like, oh, big oh. Oh. Um, So, like, I know for sure I was going to pick an anime. But my problem is, I don't watch sports anime. So it's like, <laughs> oh, no. What am I going to oh, do? No. So originally, my plan had been that I was just going to find a drama that I had watched in high school and make you watch that. And I had a good, like, couple of drama or animes that I had, like, picked out that are were on, like, I specifically were search- was searching on Crunchyroll, too. So that was, like, the other thing. Had to make it so that you could, ex- uh, like, access it. So I did, like, the... Uh, other ones that I chose just to kind of so you can see my like pathway to <laughs> Yuri on Ice was I first uh, picked Gundam Wing which I think is like a classic like mecha um, and I, but like this one specifically I thought I wanted you to uh, watch with your son but so I didn't know how to convey that and not like spoil who it was it. Yeah, like so I was yeah. like okay maybe not um, and then I had chosen Record of Lotus War, which is kind of like an epic, um, like a fantasy, um, high fantasy type thing. It's really pretty and really good. But I was like, "Mm, maybe it's pretty long and it's like, it's kind of like a, it's a story. So like you would have had to watch a, like a good amount for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then I very like briefly toyed with making you watch Utena. And I didn't know, I was like, (laughs) Utena is on that. That would really have given it away. (laughs) <laughs> it was definitely going away. But also, I was like, I don't know if she's going to like Utena. <laughs> like, she, you might, but it's Utena's weird. I'm just saying that right now. Okay. It's I love it dearly, but it's it's weird. Mm. Um, but then I was like, oh my gosh, I'll I don't go think on. she's uh, she's watched Yuri on Ice, and like I felt that like this was just the time to do that. Like right now, you're in your anime yeah. era. It's a sports anime 
everybody loves it. It just kind of felt like perfect. And yeah. I'm so glad you weren't like, oh, I've already watched it. <laughs> and I like pretend to give it to you like you, it was a <laughs> sign from somebody else. <laughs> yeah, no, it was perfect. And uh, yeah, like you saying Gundam, like that's on our list, like for me and my son, because mm -hmm. um, uh, Nat from Soju Chronicles at one point gave me like a list of like, because oh, I know some of the things that she didn't like, basically she talked on Soju Chronicles, but how much she hated this one story in one of these animes. And my son started watching that anime and he was like, this show would be good if it wasn't for this guy. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. So you well, have the same taste. Well, yeah. So yeah. can you recommend some things? And she was like, Perfect. everything Gundam basically yeah was her, yeah so, yeah so those are sort of on our list and my like you know. favorite Gundam is not on Crunchyroll it is however on Hulu so I don't know yeah. like where it would be for you if it's on yeah. Hulu for us but it's the eighth mm -hmm. MS team that's like my all-time favorite Gundam series but Gundam Wing is like very solidly like it was one of the first shows that you could watch on Cartoon Network during their mm -hmm. time so it was like oh, Gundam yeah. Wing and Cowboy Bebop so like that was a very clear like memory for me on like friday nights or whatever we were just like sitting watching like actual anime on the like tv and not just like some fan sub bootleg because you literally yeah. could not buy it anywhere <laughs> type anime but i'm glad you liked yuri on ice i figured you would but like you never know yeah. and that's all that's all i have for sports anime yeah. like, and <laughs> Now, since I can't recommend it to myself, I'm assuming Sky oh, you yeah. were the one who recommended it probably. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna say two things about the shenanigans that happened with this. One, I did look through your list when I recommended mm. the first one, but I guess I just didn't you have the amount of dramas no, in Natalia's hard. watch list. Yeah. So it's like easy I to miss one, like and you ha you guys have to understand. Last drama exchange, I had Natalia. This drama <laughs> exchange, I had Natalia. So like, and I oops. And here, oh, actually, I have a lot. I should have thought of that. Back. Like I should have really like, done it. She's like, like I already pulled out my A game last time. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I always kind of, I kind of knew some. I I know some that like. I haven't even finished, like, some mm -hmm. that I'm in the middle of that, like, she hasn't watched. Like, I'm always kind of aware of some of them that she hasn't touched yet. We but talk. I'm never really yeah. ready for, like, if I haven't finished it, to really recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But on that front, I also know that Natalia is right now in a phase where she doesn't want super sad or any, like, mm -hmm. she's, she's actually in a little bit of a comfy moment, which mm -hmm. is totally fine. Because... As far as what, if I wanted to reveal who I was and if I was going to be mean and I had just a few days prior told her, you need to watch My Dearest. <laughs> I wanted to tell her to watch My Dearest. That would have been a so little obvious. Bad. That would have been a little like, obvious. Clearly. A little obvious. I'll watch But also, <laughs> coupled with, and like, the thing is, the first couple episodes of My Dearest are pretty fun. Like, mm -hmm. they're enjoyable. Yeah. So like. I, I, I could have even said, just watch the, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, that's what, so I stepped, that wasn't really my first choice. Like, mm. so the first one that I actually missed on her list was, it was Tinted With You. It was also mm. a web drama, BL right. web drama, Korean, uh, starring June from Ace. So like, it's it was like actually cute. Kind of, it was actually kind of funny. This is actually a bit of a surprise now because when I realized what got recommended to you, my brain started connecting dots because when it was tinted with you was the first one i was like oh it must have been amanda who had me because you and i watched tinted with you together <laughs> me and you <laughs> i don't worry that at all this is so funny because she's like i think it's amanda and i'm like i'm like it's i watched tinted with you at the same time because like we would be talking and, about and it and is it in your list did i just totally <laughs> i i look i thought i looked i double i double i was like oh i must to put it in my list and then i double check i'm like wait it is there <laughs> i stared well. at it but who knows who knows i i stare at my list all the time and i oh, miss yeah, stuff yeah, so no. like it's totally yeah. fine yeah but that that's really funny so uh, we actually had <laughs> conversations when we watched it with that's 
That's very me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they, like right before wow. COVID or right during the first <laughs> yeah. part of COVID. Yeah. You're yeah. Fine. Cause we're like Sky and I both love the K pop group Ace and it starts yeah. June from Mm-hmm. So it was like right before so, military, right? Yeah, and so we were like, like, and like we were, I remember because we would share like fun little like there was like a seventeen article <laughs> that he did like really long about. I'm so glad I got to kiss some boys, and we were like, wow, what a guy! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was here purely because I had watched it, and I was like, wow, something like I a Beale that I watched an Italian. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it on the film. So so it's been then bamboozled. I knew that <laughs> I knew that in the past few months Natalia had watched Kiss Goblin, mm-hmm. and I had gotten my memory switched on that because for some mm-hmm. reason in my mind scripting with you was titled Kiss Goblin, which it's not. Kiss Goblin yeah. is totally different vibes than scripted with mm-hmm. you. It's, like, it's, it's another like scripting. short or scripting your desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scr- yeah. yeah. Like, Tinted with you. Sorry. Also, thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. But Kiss Goblin is still let's wait over. So like yeah, different concept altogether. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so then it made me remember like ah like I, I really wanted you to watch Scripting Your Destiny because mm-hmm. like I think for for it being a web drama, I forget it's a web drama. And that yeah. is not to shade mm-hmm. web drama. No no no. I like no. web dramas. But 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 it's one of them that production value wise and stuff. Very high. Yeah, yes. I did not feel like I was watching a web drama. No. And script wise, acting wise, like the whole thing, I was like, "This is like normal drama level." So, and I, supernatural. So, like, it, I forgot all the shenanigans about the soap opera. St- like, I forgot all that stuff completely. <laughs> yeah, that was. The I just script. remember I really, really liked it. I just I knew it was funny, yeah. but like sweet. Like I remembered that story wise, mm. I was pretty impressed at the time, mm-hmm. and it does have. If you go on MDL, which like it's always a treat. Oh, going on treat MDL question mark ride. um Very to see treat. what people on MDL say about this stuff because of course some people are accusing the show of being too like Goblin, which it's not like Goblin at all. It's not. It's, it's besides like the obvious like homage to like the yeah, like when they're purposefully like, being like, funny. Like, but all the shows do that because yeah, it's a like everyone callback. does it. Yeah, like, there's yeah. A tons of shows that, like, call back to, like, really popular like, scenes and things. Like, uh, like, like, Tale of the Nine-Tailed has it. Like, yeah. yeah. But, like, it, also, it's, it's not even exclusive to Korea. Like, no. every country does that. Like, well, that's, that's like every country, thing. like, how many, like, TV shows and stuff have Titanic? Like, the, like, right. you know. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, it's nothing like Goblin, like... Except in the most broadest of strokes. Just, like, like it, it's because... Did, did it come... When did it come out? 2021. 2021. See, it's even... Whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I guess because he wears a long coat, and then, yeah, they make some of the jokes, and he's, like, But, like, a everyone wears character. a long coat because he's a handsome man in Korea. He's wearing a long <laughs> wool coat, okay? That's, like, the K-drama style. What are we doing here? But, but also, like, what is shorthand for, like, your maybe a mythological figure, a long coat? Like, that's... Yeah. yeah. And also, it's like, sure. you're rich or you're supernatural. Long wool coat. Scarf. <laughs> handsome. Boom. Done. Like, what are, we, what, are we, what are you playing at here, you know? And this guy, let me go see. Yeah. So he's the guy from Earth Doll that wears the mask. The mask. He's the mask guy on Earth Doll. I love that character. And, we and I haven't even watched the all the Earth Doll yet. I haven't watched the new yeah, one. Me but like, no. you and I will do that sometime. You and I will do that. Every <laughs> time we bring up Earth Doll, Sky and I are like, mask guy. Mask, mask guy. guy. Like, Am I right? Because Am I right? it's a fascinating character. Like, they put him in yeah. there just enough to, like, really catch your attention and be like, he's up to something. And yeah. he's really and, cool. And he's much more up to something in the last season. Let's just say he's got a whole storyline. <laughs> yeah, like, he's, he's like, doing stuff. So, yeah, he's, he's making moves. So, yeah. the fact that the lead in scripting your destiny is also mask guy from yeah. earth doll was like i think what made I mean, me press Sky play I... once upon a time <laughs> thing for a mask guy, you know. so well so i think i had finished watching earth doll like back in the day and i was like oh he did a little web drama that's about super oh, yes oh, oh. like i am watching <laughs> that thank you <laughs> he has a lead role yeah <laughs> I, like say less you know <laughs> 
and that's that's the really cool thing about web dramas is like if you do find like some smaller character in one of the mm. big dramas mm-hmm. and you really like that actor or actress and you're like what else have they done drama. and then you find hey they got a main role in a web drama sweet i get to see more of them up to something yeah so yeah i really do I, great I, choice guy did you like it more than kiss goblin because yeah, you were kind of iffy did. on Kiss Goblin. No, I like I, the first half of Kiss Goblin. I was like, I don't know, but then by the end, I was like, okay, okay, like Kiss Goblin is very YA. It's very yeah. much like yes. for younger audiences. Mm-hmm. Like it got me by the end. I was like, all right, I see what we're doing here. Like, okay, okay, but like this one, it was like from the first episode. I was like, oh, I see what we're doing here. Okay, <laughs> like, like uh huh, right. uh huh. This this one is very fun. It's very fun. It's very fun. I I had I totally forgotten the whole soap the soapy kind of like and the fact that they like showed the scenes and stuff yeah, and oh, that so must have been funny. another thing that I really so yeah just, I, I just remembered I had a lot of fun with it so I was like she needs to watch that one <laughs> and I also but if you had been fun. in a mellow mood I would have made you watch my dearest I know but I, I am but nice but thank you very also much. if you had recommended my dearest the jig would have been up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what I know. I kind of thought you were going to assume. Not so, me and Jesse. <laughs> like, yeah. he, here's the one bonus that no one knows, I don't think, unless Natalia proves me wrong. So, whenever this plan had occurred for Jesse to mind the picking of the people, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. Whenever that conversation happened, it was on chat. So, like, it wasn't when we were all staring at each other. Mm-hmm. I, I think I just had a really busy day, so, like, I missed that little tidbit, by the way. Oh. I missed that little <laughs> detail. So, I... A reminder was sent to the group chat, like, hey, everyone needs to make sure to get your little pickies in. I was like, oh, no. And so, I thought... <laughs> and I, I was so confused, like, since I didn't really know... No, no, the, the message was just get your picks in or something. Like, it was general. Mm. So I was like, mm-hmm. so I messaged Natalia and I go, I have you. And I'm thinking on it. Give me, like, a, an hour and I will, like, finish. I will confirm. Here's what I did. <laughs> I hoped that she didn't see it because she didn't respond to me. And so I deleted, this is on Discord, I deleted my message. And then I obsessed on it. I was like... But if it was on her notification, okay. if she had notification. So then I went in and I wrote blah, 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 lines of blah, 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 literally. And then I deleted all of that, <laughs> trying to hide the fact I you that I totally that to biffed like... it. I didn't, I I didn't talk like, about any picks. For it. I, I hadn't like, talked yeah. about anything specific, but I had accidentally revealed... The exact thing that we were attempting to conceal, <laughs> and, and, and you know I was like, like, "Oh no!" Hey, you know, you know what, you know what saved you, guy. I am very stupid, so that really <laughs> helped you today. Where I will misread everything at any. So, time. circling back to how on circle, like it, it's nice that it's kind of dumb for yeah. So like, <laughs> dumb energy. Sorry, um, say, I'm glad is, that you didn't January. pick it. Up. We're just all a little. The magnet line. We yeah. got dumb energy. Okay. We, hey, <laughs> we're just we Chihuahua mobs day. trying to make yeah. it through the day. We, we have about the same amount of like the average Chihuahua's like brain power. It's so- We've it's us as well, you know. Um, so that means that I was the one who told Jesse to watch. That's right. Yes. yes. Shocker. Shocking. Um. Now. This has been a long time coming because I watched Heartless City in 2014 Mm -hmm. and I fucking loved it, okay? I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. It's one of my top dramas. <laughs> I fucking I watched it with my husband. My husband loved it. We were both like, damn. So it was the first crime K drama I watched. I had oh. mostly been, you know, rom coms up until then. I was like, oh shit, this shit is wild. It Jesse, it gets so much wilder. You're okay. like, prepare yourself. Um I'm I'm in it. Prepare. Um and I have been wanting Jesse to watch it. For years, but in our mm-hmm. last drama exchange, I didn't get Jesse. So I could, and if I had, that would have been what I told her to watch. But the thing is, I was, after I was like, okay, Jesse, here's your drama, you're gonna watch Heartless City. I sat there and then I was like, wait a second, Natalia. 
the last time you watched Heartless City was 2014. <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot has changed in drama quality between 2013 dramas and 2024 dramas. And I was like, what if it's, and I was like, what if it's not? good so I'm, like, so, like, I've actually been like stressing that Jesse wouldn't watch and be like why the fuck did she make me watch this so, <laughs> no it's very clear when she like started I was like yeah I, yeah, I get why she made me okay so um I'm glad that it is holding up to my memory of it so like I mean I like it's went, also like especially especially it being show. your first K crack yeah. thriller crack like thriller. that that's yeah. a thing too I mean yeah. like so even if there are bad things like it's twenty people are dying, so, you know. You know? Okay. But also, and also, like, and I was like, no, no, no like, it's a twenty thirteen drama. Yeah. So anything that's like twenty thirteen drama, she's gonna be like, oh, okay, well, it's yeah, I, yeah, I get it. But then I went on MDL, and I was like, and it was, it's still rated so highly. Oh, a people, lot of people, and people love leaving it. comments like this year about how much they loved yeah. it. So I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I think I, I know I a lot of people who regularly yeah. rewatch it yeah and, you know so i was like i was like okay yeah. so it's been on like my top list for a really long time because i loved it so much and oh boy i'm jesse <laughs> i'm like so excited for you to okay. get to some reveals because okay. There's one in particular that I know. If you don't text me immediately and go, you, oh, oh, oh. Like, <laughs> some, like, if like people who've seen it know exactly what I'm talking about, um, <laughs> the shenanigans that this show does. Um, also, anyone who likes crime thrillers, go watch it. It's good. Okay, it's mm-hmm. a good show. Um, even for 2013 dramas, it's still good show. but. I've done that too. Like even even if I'm assembling a list of like my favorite all time mm-hmm. dramas or whatever, and then I'm putting in some older ones or ones that I watched earlier on You're in like, some wait. phase or something. I'm like, yeah. I'm like my my confidence Listen, gets shaken on my level of. I mean, I, mean, I, like, I had a good time. I'm a buffy. As far as, I'm a buffy yeah. girl. <laughs> I like. I get it. I get, I get it. the rewatch get it. and yeah. watching yeah. it now. I like, too, oh. I too am a yeah. Buffy girl. So like, <laughs> and, and and some of it still holds up like so well. Yeah. And, and then, then some, some of it you're of like, it, you're oh. like oh, my gosh. wow, yeah. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, well, you know, it was the early 2000s. So we're it just is. gonna <laughs> look yes. away. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I was like, crime. And, I, and also, I've been telling Jesse to watch this for like six years. So uh, now's my opportunity to uh She was really to funny. It. She was just like, oh yeah, and this is what you're getting. <laughs> like, yeah. because I, I don't no. even think we had made it. I think you were like... Um, I think that you told me I had you. And I and said, okay, Heartless City. I was like, okay, you're watching Heartless City. <laughs> and it was like days before the deadline. And, of, like, and to be fair, with the, what I think that like happened with Sky is that we also, we had like planned this a couple, like good couple of weeks ago. And we also planned the deadline for picking things. So people yeah. had a lot of time to watch just because we, we didn't know about schedules, yeah. work, school, and that sort of thing. Right, right, right. So it was fairly like like far <laughs> like you yeah. know it wasn't like last week was the deadline or whatever you know like right i could see where it like also like threw you off especially if you didn't catch you're catching half combos yeah like we and we were having a long discussion about like a variety of planning things and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. like i was trying to keep up but i was like in the midst of doing like three other things with whatever i was doing so yeah. i was w- trying to follow the conversation on my phone and then i just missed that yeah, new new okay. little new little twist and then That's okay but now we know that this is our like we've now gone for through, through two of these and we're gonna do more listeners so we we're love gonna it. definitely get more love it. um now we know we just need an outside person yeah, yeah. <laughs> like natalia and i had been talking about it. i was like you know it's kind of hard doing this because it's like there's only four of us so like yeah, it's, yeah. Like, the reveals aren't that great like well, it's only four I mean, of us like okay sky wound up getting natalia twice but if we no, were trying to do it to be like, oh, we never have the same person we had last time. Like, yeah, you're going to figure it out real quick. quick. That would be. Yeah. There's but fine. So because if we do it that you can know. get the same person twice, that adds, that adds an yeah. element of like yeah. more difficulty. I, I'm even thought. cool getting Natalia again. I was just trying to be a slightly complaining because <laughs> yeah. you, you have to understand She's you, in the yeah, 800s really or whatever do. on her watch yeah. list. So, like, it's it really is a little bit of a challenge. Finding factor. just a drama she hasn't watched. <laughs> just a 
drama. Like, <laughs> but I alone, have no life and like I don't sleep. You want to recommend. Like, it's... Yeah. Like, there... And so I really was checking her list because at first I was like, I feel like she, because for some reason I thought she hadn't watched My Hollow Love because Jesse and I, there was a moment that Jesse oh and I gosh. were talking oh, no. so much about My Hollow Love because we just love no. My Hollow Love. And I thought at the moment that Natalia hadn't watched it yet. So then I was like, ha, <laughs> ha, ha. And so then I yeah. go to her list and I'm like, mm, no, mm, it. she rated it like an eight out of 10. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching no, and it's not like, impossible. Oh. I, I still have stuff that Natalia has, but I'm just saying like, it's just funny. I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I always sort of, I Not always sort of imagine, what? like, <laughs> whoever gets me is just like, ugh. <laughs> it's, it's just, it ratchets. <laughs> the difficulty level goes up. <laughs> yeah. Expert level. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like it's actually, it's easier to like, because since I like pretty much everything. Right. Like, That's I, true. I don't in have, that like, regard. A, like, yeah, it's it's difficult in the sense that it's like, it's harder to narrow down like, okay, well, I can discount any of like, this genre because she doesn't mm-hmm. like those but i do i i got listen yeah yeah i don't know if i have like no taste or too much taste you know like you have i don't know taste. i don't know how to say it but but i, I am everything. proud of us i think it's funny that we didn't we didn't tr- we did not explicitly say oh we're gonna try to be super sneaky like but we all yeah. inherently were trying to be Peace. sneaky as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I thought that this was, was kind of fun. This was fun. I, I can't wait for the next one. I really have yeah. fun. And, and Amanda re brought it up because, like, we knew we were going to do it again, like, periodically. Yeah. Because we it, had so much fun. Kind of, time, yeah. It's kind of our yeah. Valentine to each other that we're, we're, these are the things that we're Aww. exchanging Aww. this time. <laughs> Jesse's like, boo. 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 We're just being theatrical here. We're, we're not. <laughs> yeah, we're just being <laughs> <laughs> Well, until the next time, eh, ladies? Oh, yeah. Well, no, who knows in the next, in the coming months when this will rear its head once again. Uh, anyway, thank you for hanging out with us wherever you did on uh, audio or video. If you like the old YouTube, you should come check us out because we, we are fun, lovely people and there's graphical aids and things about what we're talking about so it's, please come enjoy my hard work everyone like i'm, I'm putting my know. very poor editing skills to work here um and you can listen to us pretty much wherever podcasts can be found if you just want to do the the old audio listen uh including like you know spotify apple google google podcast still a thing anyway wherever podcasts are we're there you know we're there hanging out but you can also go to our website certifiednunas.com where not only do we have the episode you can listen to or watch on the on the post we also have like the links to everything we talk about like all the shows so if they're a place to stream you will just click it and it'll bring you right where you want to go and also time codes so you know when stuff is happening in the episode uh so yeah that's where you can check that out and if you want to you know slide a little money under the door to keep this podcast going, you can join our found family over at patreon.com slash certified Nunas. Uh, we do extra little mini episodes. We do uh, a movie night. We have other stuff mm-hmm. going on. You know, we're always looking for new Patreon things just for the found family. And uh, we love our found family. They're the best. They're the best. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to the fan family. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. We hope you have a great week. Maybe check out the dramas that we recommended because we all liked them. Man. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, as always, wear a mask, wash your hands, and keep enjoying Asian entertainment. Bye. Bye. Bye.